Hey guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Today we're gonna to be installing a 120 inch zero edge black diamond screen with a Sony 295 in a home here in Dallas, Texas. So we're gonna be taking this TV and we're gonna be moving it downstairs and we're gonna be doing uh, an upgrade. I'm gonna take these uh, bookshelves that he has, spread them out front, left and right. We're gonna keep the console for now to house our center speaker. And then I'm gonna take our rears and put them up here at the back of the room. Everything is going to be terminating here in the closet. And I'm going to be putting in a 27U rack to house all of all our equipment. Make it nice and clean. I'll upload the process as we go. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, um, so we are getting this project started. Um, you can see we're gonna be putting in the uh, Sony 295. I already got my projector mount on there. We're gonna be using this SI Black Diamond screen. This is uh, the Pro model, Zero Edge, and I'm putting the equipment here. Uh, we're gonna be running our lines over there for the front left and sub under up underneath the carpet, center, and then front right over here. And then I'm gonna mount right there and here his surrounds. So this is like phase one to a two part project. We're gonna come back with a, and do a 13 channel setup in this room later on, but we're just upgrading the video today. And then uh, the audio uh, later down the line. All of our equipment's gonna terminate over here in the closet. Right here, where you can see Grayson is fishing the lines too right now. So we just got the projector up here and you can see on the ceiling here we have our outlet with the surge protector on it as well as our pass lines for our HDMI's and CAT6 to come through. Everything went in perfect, nice and clean. And right there on the front you can see we have our IR sensor for the remote control system. All right, so I am running all of the wiring uh, up underneath the carpet between the carpet spike and the baseboard and putting the carpet back down. And you can see right now we're gonna use the customer's bookshelf speakers on these stands. I'm just bringing the wire right up the back side and then hooking it up leaving a little bit of slack because he is going to be getting towers in the future and then the next thing is i'm going to be putting a, a tip here on the line uh, for our subwoofer an rca tip so i'm going to strip it back and then i'm going to 
insert my compression fitting. Like that. And then I'm gonna compress it down. Give it a nice solid connection. Now it's ready to hook up to the sub. guys so this project is extremely complex and there's a ton of wiring we're doing it's pretty much impossible to show you everything so I'm just gonna give a recap of kind of what's going on right now um, we got data and coax here at the front of the room um, and basically I'm toning it out and because it's running through the side of the wall here into the attic that's next to this room and not up into this attic um, and the fact that these two attics don't connect I'm gonna go on the other side there snip that um, line and I'm gonna have to splice it together with um, these lines here. I got my cat six and my coax and I'm gonna run those through the wall here where our AV rack's gonna be and get everything connected back to the router. Grayson's working on putting in power, a hole for uh, our coax and data and then all our speaker lines and HDMIs right now. Hey guys, so uh, we're making good progress here, uh, having to do some very intensive wiring, as I said. Uh, we had to cut a hole up here at the top of the wall where we ran our wiring for the front uh, speakers as well as our data wiring. And uh, right now, we're Grayson just hopped out of the attic. We have all our lines fished back here to the closet. Coming out right here on the ceiling. Uh, so far, so good. All right, it's getting late, but we're getting this done. Uh, we just finished off all of our wiring for the front of the room. We got our front left and sub wired all the way up underneath the carpet. You can see there's just this little tiny line that's going into the wall. And we ran all the wiring up, and you can see we sealed this hole nice and tight um, with some duct tape, and the screen's gonna cover that. If the customer wants, you can always have that repaired. Um, we got our outlet in right here for the screen and we got our line ran over here for our right speaker and my center speaker of course. Um, now we're going to go ahead and get that screen mounted up on the wall. Uh, Grayson's working on getting that uh, rear right speaker put in. The speaker line ran and the speaker mounted and then we already got the uh, rear left mounted up on the wall. It's pretty tricky to get done. These are all exterior walls. Uh, but we're getting it done. All right, guys, uh, we're moving on to the screen portion of this installation. We have the SI Black Diamond Zero Wedge Screen Pro, uh, 120 inch. This is the model that has the backlit LED kit, it's optional. Hardware. That side logo. Screen cleaner. Power cord to the RGB kit. Controller. Gloves and the mounting brackets. Today we're going to be showing you how to do the installation of the Screen Innovations 120 inch zero wedge black diamond screen. And uh, this is the model that does have the RGB kit on it. We're going to be installing the projector screen on this wall here. So first thing you're going to do is mark out your studs, which we already did. Uh, this house has pretty typical standard 16 inch stud placement. Um, and the Projector screen just comes with uh, two Phillips head screws and uh, you're going to take your screwdriver and drill it right into the stud and it just hangs on there like a pitch. On this particular model, the 120 inch, you got three and a half from the top of the screen to the bracket. If you guys are wondering what this is, we had to cut a hole behind the screen because this is an exterior wall and we're rewiring everything over to this AV closet over here. So we drilled up through the framing and shot our fish rod up and then I just taped it closed. So 
So once you have your one bracket up there, you just want to match it on the other side. So I'm going to go find another stud and match it on this side. Three and a half down again. Check for level. All right, now uh, we got our brackets on there. We can go ahead and hang the screen up. Screen Innovations does provide gloves, so we'll be putting these on today. <laughs> Alright guys, we got it up on the wall. It did take a little bit of adjusting. Uh, we wanted everything to line up perfect all the way across the top and the house is drywall isn't actually level so we leveled it out to where it, visually it looks level. Mm -hmm. Next we can go ahead and take off this plastic and then uh, we can get our projector aligned to our screen and right now I'm just plugging in the RGB kit. <laughs> particular projector the Sony 295 is what I'm using it does have Cinescope as well as 16 by 9 this is a 16 by 9 screen so we're only using this particular pattern The dream media difference. <laughs> we do not leave your house dirty. Guaranteed. All right guys, um, I'm programming in a universal remote for this customer and the system that I'm using, you've seen me use a ton. I've been using it for years. It's super reliable and uh, it looks clean. It's the Pro Control Pro24.R. One button press touchscreen remote. Super sleek, very reliable. It's fully customizable. I can come in and literally create every single macro myself, which is nice. And it communicates over radio frequency if you purchase this unit here uh, back to the closet so that you don't have to point the remote, which is very nice. The remote can be buried in the couch, it's still gonna work perfect every time. Uh, it's a pretty simple concept. This remote talks to the hub and then it sends the signal out infrared. To the devices and in addition to that there's a nice little dock to charge it there's no batteries so you don't have to worry about that you just slip it right on your dock like this and it will charge <laughs> 